In this lecture, we will discuss about the theorem on areas of similar triangles and some results based on that. Area of similar triangles means when two triangles are given similar, then the theorem says the ratio of the areas of those two similar triangles will be equal to the square of the ratios of their corresponding sides. So we will see first two triangles which are given similar. These are two triangles ABC and PQR. Now we have to find the ratios of the areas. So for any triangle's area, we require the base and the perpendicular. It means one construction is required because we have to write the area of these triangles. So construction will be perpendicular AM and one perpendicular PM. Now given is these two triangles are similar. When we know the triangles are similar then there are two facts. Their corresponding angles will be equal and their corresponding sides will be in the same ratio. So indirectly that is given to us. So first we will write what is given. Given is triangle ABC similar to triangle PQR. Now this given gives us two more results. First is the corresponding angles will be equal and the corresponding sides they will be in the same ratio. So second result is given AB upon PQ is equal to BC upon QR is equal to AC upon PR. This much is given. We have to prove the ratio of the areas so that we will write to prove that area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR is equal to the square of the ratio of the corresponding sides. These are the sides but the ratio of the area is square of that means either we write like this or we can also write the corresponding sides square like this also. Both are correct. So we will write this and the second one is BC by QR. Either you write separately or you write together the ratio and its square, it's same thing. So what is our need? The ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to the ratio of squares of the corresponding sides. Now let's see what is the area of these two triangles. First we will write area of triangle ABC that is half into base. We have taken the altitude or the height of this triangle on which side BC. So we will consider this BC as the base. So half of BC into AM. Similarly we will write the area of triangle PQR that is half into QR into PM. Now the need is the ratio. So we will find the ratio. These are two statements we will divide them. So what we are going to get area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR is equal to. Now directly when we will divide that I am cancelling this half. So what is left out? BC into AM upon QR into PM. Now this is BC upon QR into AM upon PN we can break it also. So we will write it. It is BC upon QR into AM upon PN. Our need is the square of the corresponding side. Here one 
part we have got that is one of the sides ratio corresponding sides bc and qr if by some means we can prove this am upon pn as bc upon qr but before that we can also write this bc upon qr as ab upon pq because the ratio of the corresponding sides of similar triangles is also equal. So this I am going to rewrite it. That will be here area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR is equal to in place of BC upon QR I am writing AB upon PQ. And this I will write as it is. AM upon PN. Now we have to change this AM upon PN in the form of AB upon PQ. Then only it will become AB into AB. So AB square or PQ into PQ will be PQ square. So this AM upon PN. These two line segments are corresponding parts of these two triangles. So what are we going to prove? These two triangles similar so that AB upon PQ will be equal to AM upon PN that is our meet. So after this we will take two triangles and those two triangles are ABM and PQN because we require AM upon PN. So we will see triangles ABM and triangle PQN. Now, since these two triangles ABC and PQR are similar, so angle B will be equal to angle Q. The corresponding angles of similar triangles are equal. So we can write this. The reason will be this is given to us. Okay. Second thing, this angle 1 and angle 2, both are of 90 degrees. So angle 1, why 90 degrees? Because we have done the construction. I just forgot to write that construction. In between, after to prove that, you will write the construction that this AM is perpendicular and PN is perpendicular on these two sides. Now 1 and 2, both are of 90 degrees. So we know one corollary. AA corollary. By AA corollary, these two triangles will be similar. So triangle ABM is similar to triangle PQM by AA. Simply if you are writing AA corollary or AA, it will work. Now when these two triangles are similar, then we can write the corresponding sides in the same ratio. So AB upon PQ is equal to AM upon PN. Now, this is 1 and that is 2. So, what have we observed? This AB upon PQ into AM upon PN. This AM upon PN is also equal to AB upon PQ. So, we'll replace it. We'll replace this AM upon PN by, so by 2. What are, what are we getting? Area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR is equal to AB upon PQ into AB upon PQ. What have we done? We have replaced this AM upon PN by AB upon PQ. So ultimately what you have got, what was required? That the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to the square of the ratios of the corresponding sides. Ultimately, we will write this. Therefore, ratios of areas of two similar triangles is equal to AB into AB, AB square upon PQ square. Then, after this, we can say since, since, AB upon PQ is equal to BC upon QR is equal to AC upon PR. 
So therefore, ratio will also be equal to other two corresponding sides square. Ratio of the square of other two corresponding sides. So ultimately, what we have got after this, we will write therefore the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to the square of ratios of the corresponding side. So this theorem is related to areas of similar triangles means it is already given that the triangles are similar and we have got this result. Now we will discuss some results on areas of similar triangles. We have seen that when two triangles are similar, the ratio of their areas is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. Three more results we will write with the different properties. Suppose we are taking medians of these two similar triangles. So if I draw two triangles which are similar and one median is given. AS is a median and here for this another triangle PQR, PT is the median. So the result says the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to the square of ratios of their corresponding medians. I have taken one set of medians. You can take more than that also. It means whatever is true for one median, it will be true for other two medians also. So according to that result, we can write area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR means ratio is equal to AS square upon PT square or you can directly write as so here what we saw the corresponding sides and if the medians are given then the result will be little bit different that the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles it is already given that these two triangles are similar is also equal to the square of ratios of their corresponding medians. Similarly the next result if AS and PT these are two angle bisectors means if it is given angle 1 is equal to angle 2 uh, first we saw for median the second I am taking for angle bisector so angle 1 is equal to angle 2, angle 3 is equal to angle 4. So first we saw the result for median. Now this result is for angle bisector. So only the statement will change. The ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is also equal to the square of ratios of their corresponding angle bisectors. So instead of median, now I have taken this AS and PT as the angle bisectors of one set of angles. Similarly, it can be taken for other two angle bisectors also. The result is for angle bisectors. Uh, angle bisectors. And the third result, it is, it is for altitudes. Now, if two triangles are similar and their corresponding altitudes are given, in these two triangles only I am taking the altitudes AS and PT. Then the result is for altitudes. Now triangles are similar. The result says the ratio of areas of two similar triangles is equal to the square of ratios of their corresponding altitudes. As I said, I have taken one set. Median also I have taken one set. Angle bisector also I took one set. And here also I have taken one set. It is true for all three altitudes, all three angle bisectors and all three medians. So for any triangle, if I draw the second altitude or this the third altitude. Okay. So similar way for three medians, for three angle bisectors, the result will be what? The ratio of areas of two similar triangles is equal to the 
square of ratios of corresponding altitudes means AS square upon PT square, then the second one and the third. So, this is true for medians, angle bisectors and altitude. So, these are three results which are based on areas of similar triangles.